Hi. A couple, actually. One which really, damn, it's, it's knocked me for six. It really has. It's something that had never come up before. Yeah. Um, why aren't I rich already? Mm. And I'm thinking back, and a lot of it's, and then, according to the questions that you asked, and how did mum and dad feel about this? And sorry to turn my back on everybody here. Can everybody... Hello. We can see the back of your head. It's yeah, back beautiful. of my head. Sorry about this. Gorgeous. About this. So what I'm, what I'm, <laughs> what I'm saying is <coughs> that mum was a saver, never got a chance to save. Dad was a spender, and boy did he spend. <laughs> Seriously, not a, never a, a penny was at home. It was very much a hand to mouth. I mean, he gave freely, mm. but it was never there. Mm -hmm. It was never there when we needed it. We moved from house to house to house because we lost him mm -hmm. actually on ventures that he really wanted to. And he was never a good businessman. Hmm. Another thing in my head, he was never a good businessman. Ah. He was never. A, he was always a trier, and I always respect him for that. But he never succeeded. I can really resonate with that. Okay, so one of the things that came up, and it says, "Why aren't I rich already?" Damn, it says I had it <coughs> a couple of things. I didn't. I didn't believe I could do it. I don't believe. I didn't believe I was smart enough. Those things don't apply now. But, and something that came out says, I didn't want to make dad, who worked towards money all his life but failed, feel bad about being successful, or me, f uh, feel, feel bad about me being successful when he actually wasn't. And I'm thinking, where did that come from? And I've never, I've been to seminar after seminar, and I've been to landmark, and I've been to other things, and that has never come up. And I'm wow. thinking, I'm making him wrong for me being successful and rich. Successful and mm. rich. Wow. And that, that is uh, an eye opener. I, I'm, I'm actually crying now because I'm just thinking about my own uh, situation. My father is now 55 and he's worked his entire life, so 30 years now, mm. in that dingy little office in his, in his house, um, writing articles. And he's still doing it. He's still doing it. He but he has started probably 10 businesses since uh, 1990. The uh, 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 newspapers at that time were kind of restructuring. And instead of having foreign correspondents in each country, they, uh, they, you know, there was more faxes. And th they didn't need people in, you know, working in each individual country. They didn't need foreign, co foreign correspondents. So to supplement that income that he lost just like that, he, he had to you know, go from being a journalist for 20 years to, to uh, trying to be a businessman. And he, he's amazing. He's come up with business after business after business. Uh, he had uh, uh, a license for a, a French satellite television station, music station. He set up a, a TV station in Greece. He set up a magazine and a newspaper and another magazine. Uh, consecutive, not, not all together. Um, but uh, every single one of the ventures, a, a, a dismal failure, dismal failure. But... Um, but he kept trying. He, kept, he had that entrepreneurial spirit, and I guess that's where I got mine from. Um, so I'm forever grateful for that. And um, so I, become fi I became financially free back in May 2000, uh, 2005. And uh, 2005? No, 2004. Sorry. 2004. And uh, remember, it was the time when I uh, completed with my dad. I, I called him up. I hadn't spoken to him in five years. As it happened, he was b in, in the UK about three months later uh, with the Greek Olympic Olympics delegation. Uh, as a journalist, and uh, and I meet up with my dad for the first time. It was fantastic. It was great. We watched uh, Greece versus Portugal together. Greece won the European Championship. It was fantastic. Great bonding thing, brilliant. And we're at, at an Indian restaurant. He loves his Indian restaurant. Whenever he comes to England, it's it's well. Where's the next Indian? And uh, and I said, Dad, dad I've got to tell you, this is so exciting. This is what I've done. Ebooks. I'm financially free. I'm all this. I'm, so I'm telling my dad who's been struggling for money for 35 years, that I became financially free at age 25. At age 25. How do you think he took it? Not, Not too well. well. He screamed at me. He yelled. He, he, first, no, first it was a blank face. It was like this. And then he just shouted out, you're part of a cult. These people are lying to you. They're making you believe that you're making money. You're not making money. It's not true. The online marketing, internet, pff, what are you talking about? I mean, he's been writing and writing and writing for three decades, almost four decades. And I say, I wrote this one document, put it online, and it's bringing in $300, $400 a day and, and, uh, in passive income. And it's like, uh, 
he didn't take it too well. So uh, that was not the best of starts to our new relationship. 